Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.51 in the evening on Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. And we're going to go through the quakes that have happened in the last uh, 24 hours. And then we're going to go to the uh, forecast. Let's look at the quakes in uh, Chile first. And we have a 4.2 west of Santiago. And that occurred in the 70% uh, risk area out here. And then uh, we had a 4.6 north of Santiago. And that occurred right here in the 70, 75% risk area. And this little, uh, this 3.9 out here, west of Copiapo, that occurred out here in the 70 to 75 as well. Southeast of Tokyo, we got a quake, a 4.9 in Izu Islands, southeast of Tokyo. And that would put it down here, I guess, here in the forecast map. And then west of Athens, a 4.2. And that would put it right about here in the 45% risk area. And a 4.0 north of Anchorage, which uh, is right here in this 55% risk area, this little bubble uh, risk right there. All right, uh, let's go over the forecast maps. We'll start with uh, California. And uh, still this risk uh, in, in the south near the Salton Sea, 4.5 to 5.5 is possible. Uh, east of Los Angeles into the Salton Sea area tonight into uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning's forecast, uh, the 5th into the 6th. Uh, the risk is still near the Salton Sea in Southeast California. And then on the 6th into the 7th, the risk diminishes down near the Salton Sea and increases near uh, Crescent City in the far Northwest, but a residual amount on in the Salton Sea. So tonight, into tomorrow, we still could get a uh, significant quake down uh, east of uh, Los Angeles into the Salton Sea, about 4.5 to 5.5 quake. And up in Alaska, this risk that we just saw, that 4.0 north of uh, Anchorage, there's a 55 to 60% risk there. And then on the 6th into the 7th, we could get something, a 4.5 out here in western uh, Alaska. And then the 7th into the 8th, uh, just uh, near Kodiak Island and west of there, 60 to 65, 70% risk there. All right, in uh, Santiago, Chile, uh, the risk is kind of centered near La Serena up to Copiapo right now, 80%. And the fifth and at the sixth, this risk will grow near La Serena to 90%. Uh, the fifth and at the sixth, and then 95% risk northeast of La Serena and east of uh, Copiapo. And a 5.0 is likely, 5.0 to 5.5 is likely in this area in the northeast part of uh, Chile. Let's go to our Italy forecast. And we could get a 4.0 to 4.5 in western Sicily in the fourth into the fifth. The fifth into the sixth is, uh, which is right now just west of Naples, we could get a 4.0 offshore there, uh, 4.5. And then here's where the risk gets really high here. We could get a 5.0 earthquake in the Pescara. I believe that's the Pescara prefecture here in east, east central uh, Italy. Um, expecting a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake, or maybe even larger in East Central Italy. You can see exactly where that is on the map, and you can look that up and find the cities that are in that area. So that's our warning area for that area. All right. Now we're looking at uh, Ecuador and Peru forecast. And... Uh, Far northwest still, northwest on fourth into the fifth. And today is the fifth. So this is the fifth into the sixth. Still looking for a 5.0 to 5.5 in the far northwest part of uh, Peru. And the fifth into the sixth, which is uh, today into tomorrow. Still could get a 5.0 to 5.5 up in northwest Peru. And the sixth into the seventh, that risk still remains up in northwest Peru. 
and the seventh into the eighth, it begins to diminish. So looking for a significant quake up there in Northwest Peru and far Southern Ecuador on, uh, during the next uh, 48 hours. So we'll see what happens there. Over in Indonesia, we have a 60% uh, risk here in Southern Sumatra. And then the seventh into the eighth, we could get a uh, 4.5 to 5.0 in Southern Sumatra. That's the place to watch. Jakarta is down here. And uh, Southern Sumatra, a 4.5 to 5.5 is likely in Southern Sumatra. Seventh into the eighth, most likely. And in Taiwan, looks like the southwest portion of Taiwan could get a 5.0 uh, earthquake or larger on the 6th into the 7th. Here is the 5th uh, into the 6th. It's already uh, in the afternoon on the 6th over there. So this is more, more of a valid map here. So southwest Taiwan could get a 5.0 or larger in the next 24 to 36 hours. And that risk still remains in Southwest Taiwan on the 7th into the 8th. All right, in the Caribbean, we could get a uh, risk increases up over the uh, Virgin Islands here. And on the 6th into the 7th, the risk continues to increase. And by the 7th to the 8th of January, we could get a 5.0 earthquake in the Northeast Caribbean and the Northern Lesser Antilles, and maybe even in the um, British Virgin Islands or the US Virgin Islands, most likely up in the Northeast portion of the Caribbean, a 5.0 larger is likely on the 7th or 8th of January. And in Seattle, Washington, get some water here. The risk is 60% uh, down in uh, Southern Southeast Oregon and then southeast Idaho, the fifth into the sixth. And the uh, risk begins to build off of Oregon on the sixth into the seventh. And here we go, the seventh into the eighth, we could get a 5.0 earthquake offshore southwest of Portland on the seventh into the eighth of January. And Turkey's forecast, pretty quiet, uh, moderate risk out on the east of uh, Turkey. On the 5th into the 6th, 6th into the 7th, still uh, some high risk over in Georgia, the country of Georgia. And the 7th into the 8th, pretty quiet across most of Turkey, most of Turkey. One more forecast, and that is the Hawaiian forecast. And you can see the 5th into the 6th, the risk is in the north. And it begins, 4.0 uh, is possible in the northern part of the Hawaiian Islands on the 6th into the 7th. And this is interesting here, the 7th into the 8th, we could get a 5.0 or larger significant earthquake in uh, Hilo or Honolulu in this area of the Hawaiian, the Southern Hawaiian Islands, a 5.0 larger is possible on the 7th or 8th of January. So watch for that. Let's look at the Los Angeles once more here. Um, a 4.5 to 5.5 is still possible east of LA down to the Salton Sea during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And that uh, risk begins to diminish after the 6th into the 7th of January. So watch for that quake down in South, South and Southeast California during the next 24 to 36 hours. And there we are. Thanks again for watching tonight. Today is Tuesday night. And um, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, January 6th, we'll be back at about the same time. We're going to try to keep the forecast at about 10 p.m. Pacific time. So that 10 p.m. is the time we're expecting to put it out most of the time. So watch for that time, 10 p.m., expecting the forecast to be out. Thank you so much. Have a great night. God bless you. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Thank you.